and welcome back to a long ass video okay this was a ball ache to film this today so i need to say this first hand this is my right hand so i'm working left-handed so i'm taking the design off the black nails three of the nails are going to stay black so i'm just infilling um and rebalancing obviously and the other two i am changing out for nude so use my extra cool spit to get the bulk off and then come in with my fine safety bit just to rebalance and just to check there's no lifting there wasn't nearly four weeks i was really really pleased so i've left rachel and a really good review because um i've never gone that long with nails on so um didn't show all of these because it was just far too long but um just want to show you how thin you can get these these uh nails back to using an e-file very thin so i then reshape so i start doing my little finger and as I am reshaping, I catch my ring finger and that happens. Bugger it. So, got to put a form on. <laughs> anyway, I carried on. So, pushing back the cuticles, I come in with my skittle bit as usual. I don't show this on all of the nails because it's just far too long. And I wanted to concentrate on the nail art. Um, so I'm doing 3D on one hand and my attempt at one stroke on the other. I say attempt, it's not something I've done a lot of. I am very much practicing, but I wanted to do Remembrance Day nails. I did a set last year, so I wanted to repeat that this year. Um, so uh, yeah, I go out of shop quite a bit, so I've, I've saved all the bits that I can and cut it down as much as I can just to get everything in really um, look how well this skittle bit lifts that cuticle it's just beautiful it might look quite harsh it's not um, I did use cuticle nippers um, although mine need replacing but as you know I'm trying to wait for uh, Navy Pro Tools ones and um, I don't really use cuticle nippers on anyone else I don't mind on myself if I cut myself it's fine so yeah, three are quite basic infills. So using the CJP um, hollow form, this is the salon length ones, although they are still very long. I do have extreme length ones. At some point, I'm gonna do myself a banging set of nails. I haven't had a really, really long set on this year. So I'm um, looking forward to that. So that first bead of clear acrylic goes on at that free edge and then I push it up and blend it back I did do this a little bit on the thick side so um, I did file it before I put design on top um, on these two fingers I'm doing nude so I'm using black magic from CJP crystal glass obviously perfect peach which is a nightmare color to work with or well it's not a nightmare um, I struggle with it um, I know a lot of other techs do too. It's just highly pigmented, but it's a beautiful nude. So I left that in because I want to show you that actually, once you filed it, it looks beautiful. So bear in mind, I am doing all this hand with my left hand. So I'm just pinching the form there a little bit. I don't know where I've put my pinching tool. So I'm just pinching the form a bit just to make sure it's as narrow as I can get it. Now you will see that I've got my product on my right hand side. I move it in a minute. Um, I was trying to pick up my bead with my right hand and switch in. There you go, I've switched it over. Um, yeah, I can't do that. So I've gone back to doing it left handed. So pretty much do everything left handed. So I'm just infilling those nails. I don't show all the infilling obviously, just a little clear layer as normal. So taking that form off, Quick tug underneath and it's off. All done. I have a nail back on. All but a little bit thick one. There are tons of mistakes in these nails. But I've left them in. That was the point. 
so anyway go out a shot filing um, I then start to do all of the black so I'm just finishing with a little bead of clear acrylic on the top of that one because I need the apex there obviously the ones that I was infilling were a lot easier I didn't have as much work to do um, I'm gonna keep the black set until probably the first week in December at which point I will put a brand new set on which will be Christmas themed but I'm not a Christmas themed person so those nails will come off a week before Christmas and I will then do my real Christmas nails which tend to be nudes, bit of glitter, gems so I'm just tidying up around that cuticle there not too bad with the black and capping as always sloppily but you know give me a break I'm left it's I'm doing it left-handed you know it's not easy still loving this brush so products I'm using today CJP for my acrylic my size 10 Tracy Lou brush um, I'm also using CJP's 3D Precise brush for the 3D and I'm using their Slant Slayer and Tiny Touches brush for the one stroke. Oh and the fine liner. Line it fine, I think it's called. I got those nail art brushes, set of five from CJP. They're beautiful, rose gold finish. Um, I'm also using their acrylic paints for the painting. The paint, the added paint work on this hand is done with the CJP gel paints, which are also very good for what little bit that I've used them. So, perfect peach. I tend to try and work with it a little bit wetter. Um, it's one of those ones that looks sort of chalky and liney once you've got it on. I've seen other techs work with it perfectly well, so it's obviously me. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It files beautifully. And to be fair, when you're doing your right hand with your left hand, they're not going to look as nice. You know, they're not. You, know, you just have to rely on your shaping and your finishing to get them as good as you can so usually if someone asks to see my nails I present them with my left hand because that one always looks better but actually all told I was really pleased with both hands um, considering I've done these two hands over the course of today it's my day off today um, but I've had breaks you know cooking tea and all that sort of stuff in between the other problem that I have I struggle to turn my hand around this way when I'm working <laughs> on myself I know a lot of text do it that way I can't do it so I end up doing it quite flat so I haven't left all the 3d in I'm just doing some simple pointed leaves with a little Schwarzky crystal in the middle in a design on that hand on that middle finger and it was purely working in black because um, I wanted to tie the black nails in with the ring finger having the poppy on it um, just using my wet brush to clear off any staining as I work works very very well you'll see me pick up a couple of beads and then discard them probably because they're either not big enough or they're too small so um yeah you got to make sure you, you bead working with 3d you need to work dry the last thing you want is that bead to be going all over the place so um just doing three petals and then in between those petals i put another gemstone another two petals each side of that gemstone and then a gemstone between the middle of those two and i leave it there these reminded me of poinsettia leaves so this might be an option for Christmas nails. Probably nude with red would look quite nice. Ooh, red on a gold nail. You know everybody loves their red and gold at Christmas. So yeah, haven't left all of this in, obviously. 
So I'll just carry on with those little petals. They're quite simple ones. It's nothing too difficult on these. This video is sped up. I had to because it's so long. I'm sure most of us um, have relatives, grandparents, etc., that were took part in the world wars. Um, so for me, I do like to have my poppy nails. So there's the ring finger fin, the middle finger, sorry, finished. So now for the poppy, very simple. Um, get that acrylic on there, nice and dry press it out into a D shape and then belly of the brush with the point in the middle and just press it out to each side and you want those indentations in there that's what gives it the definition um, again my 3D is not the best especially when I'm working left-handed so you want two of those facing each other and then two smaller ones overlapping where those two petals meet up. I'm just pushing the ends up to make it stand up from the nail a little bit. And not too much because we're going to put those other two petals on and I don't show the other two petals going on either. I had to sort of cut some stuff out. The cold. Anybody else suffering? But you know, busy day tomorrow. I have one of my favourite clients in tomorrow. Lovely, lovely lady. And um, her nails always look amazeballs. So I'm filming that one, but I need to get this one on and uploaded so I've got room on my phone to do it. So really, the, the, the trick with 3D really is keep it simple. If you, um, the more difficult you make it, obviously the more difficult it is. So keep it simple. So the first of those, that middle two petals goes on. Press it out, not quite so much as the first one. I then use black acrylic in the middle to fan out the colour on them too. I then use caviar beads to give the um, definition of the middle of the poppy. And then when I come in with my paints, there you go, just finished poppy. When I come in with my paints, I um, also outline some of the edges on that poppy and the middle of the bottom two flowers as well, just to give a little bit of shadow there. That's me just putting the caviar beads on. I do cap these with clear acrylic. And then just using that line it fine brush to make very very simple leaf effect you know there's no detail in this it's literally just it's exactly the same way i would do um a fir tree if i was doing christmas nails mainly because i didn't know what shape poppy leaves were so yeah just lining the edges there just to get some definition on and that's that hand finished and then we go on to my right hand. So I have left these two nude fingers in, but specifically the ring finger because it's the worst application you have ever seen. And I don't even have the excuse that I'm working left handed because I'm not. So I left it in and I've left in filing it to show you how you save it. Anyway, again, apologies for going out of shot on some of these things. I do struggle when I'm doing my own nails. Not, I don't struggle doing my own nails. I struggle with doing my own nails and filming it at the same time. So you probably won't see this very often. Because it's not easy. See? Just go out of shot. So I'm working slightly wetter with Perfect Peach. And just building that colour up. Thankfully, they filed out really nicely. Um, did the nude first on this hand mainly because I was also doing stuff in between I was houseworking and hoping that I didn't break another tip
so I didn't zoom in on all of it some of it because I kept moving my hand around it was quite hard to get in and out so here we go look at that what the hell so number one the bead was too big to start with number two it's too wet so I'm struggling to try and keep it off the skin that side and it's all falling down one side and you know what I just squished it in the end oh God, for God's sake look at that have you ever seen anything so bad in all your life? <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, in a second I dig out that acrylic that's flipped round underneath the bloody nail with my finger. Totally unprofessional. Look at that. What even is that? And I go back in a minute and get some more out. I just effed it up. Is the only is the only word I have for it. But you know what? It's savable. It's fine. Look, how much how much more wrong can you go? I promised you all I would leave these things in, so I have. You know, <laughs> this is the reality of it. Um. Yeah. Right. Just hang on a minute, and I'll just pull this this huge lump of acrylic out from under my nail i don't even know why i'm laughing it's not even funny is it look at this <laughs> what not to do when you're doing your nails <laughs> oh dear anyway while i was waiting for those monstrosities to set it wasn't even the middle one that wasn't even so bad but the ring finger both ring fingers today so anyway, coming in with that black magic, get that bead in at the top, tap it round and then pull the rest down the body of the nail. This one was nice and easy. This hand is slightly shorter than the other hand because I filed more away with this hand because of the way I work. So um, I could have I could have rebuilt them, but I didn't have time today. So that didn't happen. A little bit of crystal glass, tap tap, swipe down, tap tap, down the middle, job done. Bye bye cat's eye. So impressed with that Rachel's work, I really am. And um, was gutted cutting these down, but you know, they were looking a bit worse for wear. So um, they had to be done. So yeah, black acrylic on your skin, it does stain. So, you know, try to avoid it. Um, I do get it on my skin, on my little finger. But we all know if you get acrylic on the skin, you've got more chance of lifting. So, you know, my cross to bear. So clear cap on, get them sides, swipe it down. Nice and easy. So here we go, I'll make a right balls up of this and it's purely because when I'm doing my own nails I have to I have my hand quite flat um, and I know it's easier and you should have it more tilted down but I just really struggle to do it that way so here's me getting that acrylic off the skin and then what happens is the point of my brush digs into that edge and takes it off so I have to put a bit more on there to fill that gap in because if I leave that it, it'll piss me off forever more so um yeah I go back in, try and rectify it, but yeah, a little bit of staining. To be honest, you couldn't really notice it once I took me um once I filed them and top coated, etc. So just get that on there. I sometimes find that if I do a couple of beads and it looks a little bit, you know, streaky, if you just put a thin bead, thin wet bead over the top, it just evens it out. Let's be just trying to make sure I haven't got it on my skin. And then clear cap. Again, you don't need to. Black Magic is a strength powder. But I just do. Mainly because I've spent so, so long building nails and then filing it away. So coming in with my file I've left it in this view so you can see the angles we get into just to get our nails filed and to show you that that monstrosity can be tamed it just takes a really good file you can see Tracy Lou's 100 180 grit I like a 
double sided file. I prefer that than having two or three different files. Um, so I tend to have two on the go. One is a slightly worn one. One is usually a brand new one. And I just switch depending on who I'm doing. Now, obviously, I'm a lot harder on myself than I am on a client. But um, I have sped this up. But um, yeah, the weird hand positions we get in to, uh, to file our nails. But you'll see in a minute, you know, it looks fine. You know, trust the product, trust the process because nine times out of 10, it can be saved with a file. And if it isn't saved with a file, whack some glitter on it. They'll never know, they'll never know. So yeah, just left this whole bit in. Uh, coming in with a buffer. I use CJP's buffers because I like the shape of them. Um, with me having arthritis in that little finger and ring finger, um, I find this easier to easier to um, hold. So one stroke. If you don't know what one stroke is, it is a type of nail art where or a type of painting where you pick up two or more colours on your brush and build your design at the same time. I am not an expert, far from it. This is very, very new for me. I, I did a couple of attempts last year and um, I've picked it up now, but trying to practice it um, while I'm working and everything. So I haven't actually done this on a client yet, but wanted to have a go at a poppy because they're quite simple flowers. So I figured they'd be simple one stroke ones. So I'm just using my hand there to blend the colour on. I have got a plastic lid that's got my paint on it that I do blend the colour first. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just a habit I've picked up from watching um, people like Carol Hailstone, etc. It's just, you know... It's just easy to do it on there because it's right there in front of you. So yeah, just doing those petals. So I'm keeping a gap between them to give that little bit of definition. And I'll be coming in with um, some other colours and some little dots. Some little, little one there. Um, the reason I like one stroke, I'm not a painter. You know, I've never really been able to paint. Even at school I wasn't a painter. But I like this technique because it's just easy and well, it's not easy. It's a really hard skill to learn, but um, it's messy. Does that make sense? Um, because you're doing flowers and stuff like that, they don't have to be perfect and it still gives a really, really nice effect. So that's why I like it. So yeah, just trying to figure out which angle I'm coming in. It's not easy doing it on yourself. Trying to remember which way around the brush is. So there you go, just filling. Really like that one. That one went really well. Once I've got my flowers in, um, I do go over the petals twice on this. When you get really good at it, you can do this in, in, in literally one stroke, which is why it's called. It's not called one stroke because you just do one stroke. It's called one stroke because you have two colours in one go um, and you very often dab it round. Um, but as you get better, you are able to do it with one pass, which makes it a lot quicker. But actually, this didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. So... Um, that was a bit of a bonus. Um, then coming in with, um, I'm rubbish at doing leaves at the minute, so I'm just winging it on here. Um, but green and yellow. And I also have some yellow. I'm going to be putting some yellow in the middle of those poppies. And I'm also going to be adding some little dots of gold. Um, 
I also add in some gold lines into the background as well. I'm rubbish at doing leaves. I haven't got that good yet. It'll come, it'll come. I just need lots of practice. I love the effect though. It's a beautiful nail art form. So I do go out of shot when I'm doing the um, middles and stuff, so I do apologise. It's not unusual for me to have two hands different. Um, to be fair, they are at least similar on this occasion. It's not unusual for me to have two hands with two completely different designs or even different shapes. Um, I quite like stilettos. Um, I love a stiletto. They're very easy to work with for me because I do wax in as well. Um, so I find them very simple to use. But I do like my ballerina and my tapered square. So yeah, just add in some little dots into the middle of those poppies. The thing with one stroke is you can get a lot more detail in than you can with 3D. So, um, and really, you know, the two combined is something that I think that I'd enjoy doing. So there we go. So once I have done that with that, I top coat those nails. I give them a little while just to dry before I top coat, float the top coat over and I am done. So thank you so much for watching. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do leave your comments um, and any requests for things you'd like to see. Um, and I will try and get that stuff up as soon as I can. Really appreciate everybody coming on board. And um, I will be back very soon with another video, hopefully from tomorrow with the lovely cat, because she always has beautiful nails. So I will see you all again very soon. Ta-ta for now.